Black Square is one of the most recognizable paintings in the world. It is kept in the Tretikov Gallery in Moscow, and its author, Kazimir Malevich, is brazenly referred to by Russia as a Russian artist. How did it happen that Malevich's works and name had become the cultural property of the Russian Federation? Why might Ukraine have more rights to the artist's creative legacy? And who did Malevich consider himself to be? A Russian, a Ukrainian or a Pole? Kazimir Milevich was born in Kyiv. His father was a Pole, a director of sugar factories. His mother was a Ukrainian. Kazimir spent his childhood and youth in Podilia, in the Kharkiv and Chernihiv regions. It was the Ukrainian village that shaped Milevich's artistic vision of the world. At 17, Milevich started studying painting from the famous Ukrainian master Mykola Pimonenko. After six months, he moves to Kursk, Russia. Here he meets the artist Lev Kvachevsky. Malevich later writes about him in his autobiography. We've been talking about our days back in Ukraine. He and I were Ukrainians. At 35, the self-taught artist starts a new direction in art and shocks the world with his black square. Art critics note, the geometric shapes Malevich combined in his works resembles the patterns of the Podilia houses he saw in Ukraine. That's where the main colors on his canvases, white, red and black, come from. In Russia, Malevich is definitely called the creator of the Russian avant-garde, although from the mid-twenties the avant-garde becomes officially banned in the Soviet Union. At the time, the invitation to teach at the Kyiv Art Institute was like a breath of fresh air for Malevich. Harassed and hunted down at every step in Moscow, in Ukraine he gives lectures and holds a personal exhibition. He also starts publishing articles in Ukrainian. Repressions against the intelligentsia force Malevich to return to Russia. But he won't escape the arrest either. The only thing warming his soul is the fact that during the foreign trip in the fall of 1927, he managed to transfer more than a hundred of his paintings to his friends in Germany. During the interrogation, Malevich states himself a Ukrainian for a KGB profile, but the officers see him as a Polish spy. To make him confess, they resort to tortures. After three months of imprisonment, Kazimir Malevich is eventually released. His health is undermined. He's fighting cancer. Still, he picks up a pencil again. He draws three human figures. Instead of faces, they have a hammer and sickle, a cross and a coughing. Kazimir Malevich was the only Ukrainian artist of his time to depict the Holodomor of 1932-33 that took the lives of about four million Ukrainians. In the 1970s, the Soviet authorities bought Black Square from the Malevich family for nothing, just for 300 rubles. The accomplishments of the artist, who was hounded to death during the Soviet era, are now appropriated by Russia. Thus, in 2016, a large-scale exhibition of Russian avant-garde Chagall to Malevich was held at the Albertina Museum in Vienna. The artist's Ukrainian roots were not mentioned. Currently, Russia holds the largest collection of works by Kazimir Malevich. Only two of his paintings remain in Ukraine, although Malevich repeatedly called himself Ukrainian and emphasized the Ukrainian influences in his art. Russia has Russified not only Malevich, but also dozens of outstanding Ukrainian painters. Ilya Repin, Ivan Ivazovsky, Alexander Murashko. Cultural annexation continues to this day.